Now, welcome to the segment on how to create a new YouTube channel. And for the recording of this video, we will take the steps necessary by first creating a new Gmail account and then followed by linking a new YouTube channel to this Gmail account. So the first step in creating a Gmail account is you go to gmail.com and from there, uh, you will be prompted to sign in, but you don't sign in. You Instead, you click on this button that says create account. And very, very simple, uh, create account for myself or my child or to manage my business, just choose for myself. And you want to create a first name and a last name. So for the sake of the demo, I will call my first name as Kopi and second name as Uncle. So I'll try to get the, uh, the Gmail as Kopi Uncle at gmail.com. Let's see if it's not available. What we can do is we can, for example, if we want to choose copy uncle one. Okay, copy uncle is not available. Let's call it uncle copy. So we call it uncle copy one, two, three, four. So our Gmail account will be called uncle copy one, two, three, four, right? And we will select a password. So our Gmail account will be uncle copy one, two, three, four, right? And we select a password and we click next. Okay. So sorry, I need to choose a password that is stronger, right? So we will try to see if we don't enter the uh, phone number, whether we allow to go through. So we will be required to put the date of birth. And select the gender. And we click next. Okay. Then we read the terms of privacy and we click, I agree. And we are, after we have created, I agree. When we go back to gmail.com, our uncle copy one, two, three, four at gmail is already being created. So that is the first step. So congratulations, we now have a Gmail account already. So once we have a Gmail account already, uh, what we will now proceed to do is to go to youtube.com. Yes, and we chose a uh, leaf site, yes. So that's the step we do 
Okay, we can clear all this, can X off. So we go to youtube.com. Uh, we notice that we're already locked in because uh, earlier the, the Gmail, we already locked in. So what you want to do is you want to click the icon that is below here besides the bell. This is the icon you click. Click this icon beside the bell. So you click this. You will see that the icon is now expanded and you now have a choice to create a channel. So what we want to do is we want to create a channel. Okay. When we want to create a channel, maybe our option, our channel, we call it Uncle Kopi. Right. And what we do is we proceed to create a channel. And we carry on the process to create the channel. And we get into this screen. Of course, it's a new channel. We must uh, allow to customize the channel. So there are two ways in which we can do. One is called customize channel and another one is called manage videos. So for the purpose of today, we want to just make sure that we customize the channel and we uh, proceed to enter some basic information that we have. So here, we click on customize channel and it will tell you, welcome to YouTube studio. We just click continue, right? Don't bother about the layout tab first. Don't bother about the branding tab first. We then go to the basic info and you already have your channel name. Okay, just close this. You don't have to worry about this. Just close the notification. So you have your channel name and description is the part where you need to tell people what your channel purpose is uh, and why is it that in a way, why is it that you are different from other people and why should they subscribe to you? So we can write something like that. A search through the neighborhood The, the search through the neighborhood in Singapore to find the best copy in town. So your objective is we will we will review the different types of copy being served in Singapore and find the best copy in the coffee shop category or restaurant category and which hotel serves the best copy. So for example, a search through the neighborhood in Singapore to find the best kopi in town. We will review the different types of kopi being served and find the best kopi in the coffee shop category, restaurant category, and also 
which hotel serves the best kopi, right? So this is the mission of your channel. And when people look at your channel, people will understand what your channel is about. By default, when you create your channel, they will give you this uh, super long uh, YouTube URL. And after you have got your first uh, 100 subscribers, you can change your URL to be something shorter, but you need 100 subscribers. Links here, when we add link, what we can do is we can say Facebook here, and here we enter the Facebook page URL. You can add a few links. You can enter the URL. So it's like, let's say, for example, facebook.com slash copy uncle, just as an example. So you can put your, your Facebook URL here and it will appear in your channel. But for our case, we will leave it blank because we don't have other social media. So email address is the email that you want people to contact. So you can either put, you can put your this Gmail address that you have created. Once you have done that, you click publish. And then you are finished with the basic info update. How does it look on your channel? You click on here. Uncle Kopi, click on your channel and you will see when you click on about, we have the updates appear here. Next, we come to the next part of the customization is this, where you can set a specific icon that you like uh, people to know you by. So for the sake of this demo, what we'll do is we'll just go to uh, a normal Google search and we type coffee, cartoon maybe. Okay, and what we do is, okay, maybe we like this. We like this a lot. Okay, we like this a lot because this is cute. So what we can do is we can just right click here and save this image as. Okay, here's the thing when we, uh, we can't really save this image, right? So we have to find another image. Let's say, let's say this one. Let's see whether we can save this image. So we right click, we open image in a new tab. We have it here, we have this guy. We right click, save image as. And we are able to save this in the desktop. We call it copy cut. Okay, copy cut. And we save it. So now we have saved copy cut PNG into our local. What we can do is we go back to our YouTube channel, which is here. And what we do is we see this U here. U is for Uncle Copy. We can click on this camera icon, we click on it. So what we want to do is we want to change this picture, this U into just now the copy cut. So what we can do is we can click upload and we saved it in the desktop. We look for the copy cut here and we upload into here. We make sure we adjust if we need it and we click done. And there you have that cute copy cup there. Okay, you click close and you click publish. So the moment when you click publish, you notice that this icon has changed already and you go to, you click uncle copy, you see that there's the icon here. You click on your YouTube channel. your channel, you still can't see how you see this icon yet. It's okay. So what we can do is 
after we have changed the icon, we can just go to another tab. We can just go to YouTube. And how we can see this in action is after we realize that we are locked in, we can see this icon here. And now we can say, let's say for example, Starbucks. Starbucks Singapore. Because Starbucks Singapore is exactly something to do with coffee. So we'll just go into the Starbucks Singapore YouTube channel. Just go to the maybe the latest video. Welcome to our Starbucks family. Maybe this one. So this is the latest Starbucks, some video, very nice. So what we can do is how we can see whether this logo appears or not is we just, okay, so comments are turned off. Doesn't matter. We look at the other uh, videos, see whether, whether are there any uh, videos that we can place our comment into. Let's see here. So we just see Starbucks. Okay, Starbucks is under, uh, they, they put it as kids friendly. So they will, uh, they will not allow you to comment. Let's say coffee shop, Singapore. Best coffee shop in Singapore. Favorite coffee shops in Singapore. So this is one. So this is a video done by somebody about favorite coffee shops in Singapore. Something similar as what we can do. This person has 979 subscribers. We can choose to subscribe and then the person can actually not be notified that we have subscribed. And what we want to say is uh, we love like we love your video example and we can actually hit comment that we love your video and you notice that our cool icon appears when we comment on videos so that is what the icon is being used for right so going back to our youtube channel we always go to, whenever we are locked in, we go to the U, go to your channel, go to customize channel. We still need to customize our channel. And we can now look at branding. So we have done the profile picture. Now we want a nice banner image that uh, people will see when they go into our YouTube channel. So to get the banner image, again, we can select, we can, uh, we can Google search, for example, cool coffee shop. So let's say our search is cool coffee shops. We can go to images, I'm just giving an example because ideally we are supposed to take our own image to do it, but just in the interest of time, we can take an image and let's say we really like this coffee shop. What we can do is we can write, uh, we can click on this coffee shop and we can right click, open image, a new tab. You can see that this is an image. This is a cool image that we want. We right click. And we save image as, we save it under desktop and we say cool coffee shop. Okay. Once we have saved the JPEG, we go back to this uh, customized YouTube channel. And what we want to do is the banner image. The banner image we can upload and we can upload the cool coffee shop you can click open. Okay, so the image is too small. They, they tell you. So we need to have a bigger image. So let's look for. The image called coffee shop. We look for a very big image. 
let's see this. This is very nice. So what we can do is we can right click, open image in new tab. Uh, we can see that this is a bigger image. So we right click again. We save the image as, we, we save it as cool coffee shop to replace the previous image. We save it. Doesn't matter, we, re, we want to replace. And after that, we go back to the YouTube settings here, and we click upload. And we choose the cool coffee shop and we click open. So then they will tell you that if it's a TV, you get to see the full uh, screen if other devices you get to see this guy so you get you get to adjust right what you how how you want to see assuming that all these are okay we'll just click done for the interest of demo we just uh, click done in actual fact you will need to adjust the image size and things like that right so we we'll just click done and after that we click publish if you're not happy with this image you can always remove and upload a new image so after we have applied the banner image, how does the banner image look like? We click on here and we click uh, your channel and this is how you look like. So your YouTube channel appears to be uh, a bit more professional now. So Thank you for following this video on how to create a new YouTube channel. And so with that, we will end the recording now. Thank you.